right, I'm back out again. I just can't get to stay away from this place. I was racing all day yesterday and I was just thinking about coming metal detecting. So we the I was gonna do a simplex versus Knox video and due to technical issues we're not gonna be able to put that up at this moment in time. So what I'm, uh, we're going to get out next week and do the same thing again but I've got a few clips from the other day before Dan arrived and I think I had some clips that I had on my phone hopefully of the other Soliqua I, all together I had three more Soliquas on this video you'll see anyway and a lovely Cistercius and some other bits um, so yeah there's things missing from it so if you get a little bit lost in translation just keep watching because there's some cracking stuff it's amazing and i i, I actually believe the ground's only going, going to get better i've spoke to sharon and derek about some deeper settings for the knocks i put the 11 inch coil back on so that i can get in between the iron but get a bit of depth as well so um, i'm going to get back up onto the bit where i've had the soliquas and the the other bit where I've had the bronzers because they're basically all over the place anyway and I'm going to have to try and get a little bit more depth and get in between all the iron because there's a lot of iron on there it's a little bit head frying and the new settings I can already that they've sent me I've put a picture up of what they are but they already look like they're going to make me head go a little bit daft because there's just going to be so many signals because basically I'm just running it flat out so anyway I'll get a picture up of them I'm going to get on here for a bit and um, we'll see how we get on. Right, first target of the day gave me a 10 out of this little hole here was this little barbarous radiant. Can't really see his head, it's a bit toasted, but first Roman and it's bronze. We'll take that. Hard going this is. This wind's really strong as well. I'm trying to cut mask your stuff for you. You've just got a signal here 15 16, and after finding that rusty ring, um, I was a little bit, I thought it might be more trash, but it's actually a beautiful Roman coin and it looks like I've come up clean. So what I'm going to do is get a quick uh, clean with me water bottle, trusty old water bottle, and I'll come back. To be honest, last couple of days has been like a one-off free couple of days, so I'm not expecting it all the time. So I'm going to say that I'm pretty, in fact, I'm very happy with this coin because Take a look at that view. Let me try and get you in focus if I can see it. It's no normal Constantine. Two soldiers on the back, I believe. That is a beautiful Roman coin, that. I'll take that all day. This signal here, I'm going to try and keep you out of the way. But there, it was in there. You weren't even that deep. And I actually thought I'd got another silver. And... It feels heavy though, that's the strange thing. But yeah, you can see there's a little bit of silver on it, but that is a battered Roman. So no detail whatsoever. But I'll take it and um, hope that there's a proper one knocking about here somewhere. Which would be really nice because I'm right up the other end of the field from where uh, all the other Romans have been coming from now. We'll keep going. I've just had one of them heading back to the car moments. I was thinking, I ain't had a great day. Well, I've only been out an hour and a half anyway, and had a great time. Only had that one decent Roman, and I got a signal back in the area where I was before. And guess what? And it is another absolute belting. Oh, this is my first ever decent back walking back to the car moment. Come on, silver again. Seven. Right, everyone back out again day four of the Saliqua horde it's it's definitely a horde because there's a small area that it's, it's all been brought up in uh, and the other bits that are around so i'm going to get back up here today i've been given some new settings and put the 15 inch back on and i'm going to basically go over it over it with this in flat out mode and hopefully find a couple more Saliquas. i've got a horde hunting machine coming tomorrow the gpz or gpx 5,000 mine lab machines, so we'll be out with that.
and we're just going to keep going. I'm pretty sure after finding that one randomly yesterday on the way back to the car, I'm pretty sure there's more there. It's, it's just got to take us time at it, so please do um, stick with us. Find it fighting a really hard losing battle here because this area is just so trash infested. I mean, look at the size of them nails, they're obviously Roman because they're absolute, they're, they're huge, big, big nails on them. And this is the thing that's going to mask all the little small, um, small siliquas. So it's going to be a real hard slog. This is not just a case of doing a bit of metal detecting and seeing what we can find. For some reason, a bot even a bottle top's worked in there. So yeah, this is what I'm up against at the minute. All looks a mess, but it'll be all tidied up in a minute. And we're gonna keep Oh going. my god, oh my god, oh my god. I can't believe it. Got another signal in here. And it is another Saliqua. I can't believe this. I can't believe this, I can't believe it, I can't believe it, I can't believe it. Thank you, Sid, for giving me the minus two option because this has just blown my ears off in amongst a load of iron. I've just shown on the clip then how much crap there is in this area and that just picked this up. I, oh my God. Marky Mark on Duggan finds a hoard. Look at that beauty. Come on! <laughs> I'll, you won't have heard that anyway, but we'll keep going.